Bono boy aggressively responds to Shaware as he came at him on Twitter. Also on entertainment news today, is Bono boy scared by refusing to join the Revolution Now movement? PDD finally reveals how he got to produce Bono Boy's Twice as Tall album. And finally, on entertainment, Gist Key Dominant celebrates gold certification for fall. Now, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as on post notification. Share with friends and families. Bono Boy aggressively responds to Shawaree as he came at him on Twitter. Yesterday, the 29th September 2020, former presidential candidate and activist Shawaree on a tweet stylishly calls out Damini Egbon Oluwa Okulu, known professionally as Bono Boy, a singer and songwriter to fight against the Nigerian government with his music like Fela did. He wrote, Hello at Bono Boy. Everywhere I turn, people describe you as a revolutionary musician. The foreign media even celebrates you and compare you to Fela, but I am yet to see you lead anyone to a police station in protest. Join hashtag October 1st protest, hashtag revolution now. This very tweet by Shore did not sit very well with Bonner Boy. So in response to that, he tweeted, Everybody's a fella fan and supporter now that he's dead. Humans are so funny. You politicians are all the same, especially in Nigeria. And frankly, I don't trust none of you. At ELS Shore. A few hours later, Shore aggressively replied Bonner Boy's tweets and wrote, I am not just one of the persons you could describe as Fella's fan after he died. I am a member of Fella's household as at Will Sean Kuthi. As a student leader in the 90s, I met and hung out with Agwami Edda at home and the African shrine. If you want to be fella, be fella. Bonaboy was like, off to eat my jello rice and plantain now. Also, my Atubu Human collection drops tomorrow. So guys, well in my opinion, I think this very tweet by Bonaboy can was harm to the political career of Shawari and the Revolution Now movement, especially the line, you politicians are all the same. That's a killer punchline. And obvious reality though, as all politicians are actually the same. Now next on entertainment gist, is Bonaboy scared of joining the Revolution Now movement and Shawari in protest? Twitter was on fire as Bonaboy rejected Shawari's offer to join Revolution Now protest. Nigerians are dragging self-acclaimed African giant after the pop conversation that transpired between him and the human rights activist from Wayla Shawaree. Yesterday, the 29th September 2020, Shawaree on a tweet stylishly calls out Bonner Boy, a singer and songwriter to fight against the Nigerian government with his music as Fela did. These are the series of tweets between both Bonner Boy and Omoyele Shawaree. Now, in response to this tweet, some Nigerian Twitter users wrote, One said, I'm a very big fan of Fela, and I can tell you he was not a coward. His style of activism was true music. Fela won't say, our leaders did X, Y, Z. He'll call out full government name. Soja went and threw his mom out a second story window because of one of his songs, Zombie. Now, another Twitter user wrote, Things I learned from this Fela train. Number one, Bonner Boy is not as brave as he claims, just with inspired lyrics and inshallah. Two, Shawari his desperation is suspicious. It appears he's more concerned about his very own agenda than making Nigeria better. Finally, another Twitter user responded to this by saying, people might say Shore is trying to make Bonner Boy an instrument to actualize his agenda. But the point for me is that if you can talk the talk, you should be able to walk the talk. No be by calling people cowards in your song. I'm sure Fela would be proud right now. Well, guys, what do I think about this? I think Nigerians should stop backing Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy is a musician first. He is not an activist. And the funny thing is that the actual activists that are out there in the streets that are protesting every day, people like Shore, we're not celebrating them very well. So how do you want some other person to join, especially a musician that is trying to put Nigerian music in the map when the actual activists out there, you're not really showing any form of appreciation for all their efforts. So like, that's just the funny thing about what's going on right now, man. Like, it doesn't really make no sense. But anyway, that's it for that. Next on Entertainment Gist, P. Diddy finally reveals how he got to produce Bonner Boy's Twice as Tall album. On Saturday, August 15, 2020, legendary American producer and businessman who also served as executive producers of Bonner Boy's new album, Twice as Tall, took to Twitter to discuss how he got the job. In a series of tweets, he made the whole story known to the world. Diddy tweeted, Dear Africa, you have been heavy on my mind and my heart. I've been trying to connect to the mother life for a minute, but I never got a chance to do it properly. 
properly but when i say properly i mean in a soulful spiritual way but during this time we've had of god blessed me to get a call from my brother at bonner boy he's the first african artist i've been blessed to work with and he did not know this but at the time i was praying to god to bring something to me that would help to bring us all together through music i think it's so important we all make it our mission to build a bridge to the motherland let's continue to uplift and build with our brothers and sisters it's what they fear the most strength in numbers love your brother Didi. see you all soon hashtag black unity hashtag twice a stall on twice a stall Didi lent his voice to three songs his endorsement will go a long way in getting twice a stall to the dreamland of a grammy win now first off i think Didi did a spectacular job producing Bonner Boy's twice a stall album and Bonner Boy in terms of melody lyrics hooks and everything Bonner Boy delivered and the combination of a bit of that western influence and typical Afrobeat, that fusion was done so well and so seamlessly that twice the store album i won't even for one minute doubt that it has the potential of winning multiple grams like that is how sure i am and also dd actually lent his voice to a couple of tracks now that endorsement alone will actually you know put the music out there in the international scene not to forget you guys you remember that bonner boys um, album was number one in over 50 something countries like when it first came out so the album did beats it did beats in terms of numbers um, it's just nice to see that you know bonner boys putting you know africa nigerian music in the map and pdd as well is trying to connect to the motherland and i I think at this point in time that's what most people in the western world should be doing we should try to mix that hip-hop influence as well as afrobeat vibe afrobeat is on a steady rise right now i think at some point in the future it will be just as big as hip-hop and even pop music finally on entertainment just today we have kid dominant kid dominant celebrates gold certifications for fall kid dominant was in a grateful mood as he took stock of tracks for the hit song fall taking to instagram he thanked david Doe and boasted this is the only african song to be certified by ROIAA. David O's Hall in the early part of this year became the first Nigerian song to be certified gold in the US after selling 500,000 units. It was also certified gold in Canada after selling 40,000 units. She dominated via Instagram wrote Black came in. I'm super grateful and I hope this motivates every African kid out there. You can do it too. Thanks at David O official for believing in the vision and thanks everyone who loved, streamed and bought this record this is the only solo african song to be certified by roiaa and the longest chatting afrobeat song in billboard's history yo man congrats to kid dominant congrats to kid dominant he did a madness on that jam man he did a madness on that jam four four was a jam from beginning to end kid dominant did craziness on that jam he was the piece the production quality was just top notch everything on that song was really good david o came in with the melody which was spectacular visuals as well for that song it's just nice if it was up to me i think i would have wanted that song to win in all categories visuals you know a video award or something like that you know production quality award as well as you know vocals that because everything on that song was well put together kid dominant kid dominant is a wonderful job and it's finally good to see that you know producers are getting the shine that they deserve for a long time now they've, they've been sidelined and um, they've not been given the opportunity and chance to shine as much as they are pleased but it's good to see that you know some some producers now are finally getting the shine that they deserve and a recognition for their um, hard work that they really really deserve so yeah guys that's how i'm going to end it for today and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as share with friends and families and stay tuned for more just thank you guys for listening i'm out it's an amazing feeling shout out to you guys